We're here with Ben Zeno, the one and only. Yeah. He's a real legend, and yeah. we're excited. He's got the phone, my man, Bitcoin <laughs> Rodney. Yeah. And Bitcoin Rodney told me to come over here to sign. Shout out to Bitcoin Zeno. Rodney. What up? It's 50. You're talking all this yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Ben Zeno wants to step in the ring. Let's throw those right there. You know what I'm saying? Ben Listen, man, you want to be a man about things, man? Step in the ring because that's where men sell their differences. Got removed. Hey, Ben Zeno, how are you? Hope you're having a great day. Why would you make fun and pick at one of my favorite rappers, 50 Cent? Why would you do that, huh? First of all, one, take the word legend out of your profile name. Anyone who puts legend in their profile name is not a legend. Two, I will meet you in the ring, all right? And we can dance, we can have fun. It would be so much fun, right? It'd be so much fun. This is a legend, okay? So don't call yourself a legend. Nobody believes it. Little cry baby, all right? Little boo hoo hoo hoo, all right? Let's go, let's go. You want some? Let's go. What's up, guys? I have some terrible news. Ben Zeno and Aaron Carter are having a boxing match. This celebrity boxing has gone too far. You got these two jits who used to be popular in 2003. Now they're desperate. They're on food stamps, doing Vlad TV interviews, and are probably under the influence of a lot of drugs. So Flava Flav is going to be the announcer. Rashad Evans is going to be the ref. And Scott Storch is going to perform. Jesus Christ, dude. I'm pretty sure the IRS organized this event. They just put everyone guilty of tax evasion in one room so it's easier to arrest them. This is what happens when you're behind on your car payments. Y'all want to be celebrities so bad, but forget the fact that a lot of these people lose everything and have to resort to doing stuff like this. Now, Ben Zeno is mostly famous for being Koi Ray's dad. She likes mentioning that he wasn't there for her growing up and he was a lot poorer than people realize. He had a magazine called The Source 20 years ago. I guess he didn't make good investments. He was one time arrested by an Asian cop, so he started using racial slurs, told him to go back to his country. He made references to the Vietnam War, and he called the poor dude Jackie Chan. Benzino is definitely bipolar and possibly racist. I'll give Aaron Carter credit. He's working on a new album and he's probably just trying to remind people that he exists to promote it. And it doesn't hurt that he's gonna get paid 10 grand to do this fight. I have to go easy on Aaron because he knows my channel exists and we have a few mutual friends. Aaron was a member of the Joker gang, and the leader is Joker305, Trap Murder 7 is third in command, and apparently they kicked Aaron Carter out of Joker gang because he wanted to be the leader, and he still says that he is the leader. Now listen, I think it would be entertaining if Aaron Carter walked in the fight with the Joker gang guys behind him, and maybe even Green Hat guy, so hopefully they can resolve their beef. Now Ben Zeno is 56 years old, he's like 5 foot 3, he's definitely taken juice before, he's an older dude, Aaron is 6 feet tall, 34 years old, and they're both about 170 pounds. I feel like celebrity boxing is just getting ridiculous, I'm tired of seeing it, but for some reason I'm really intrigued by this fight because one guy is way taller and 20 years younger. If Benzino wins, it'd be a score for short guys and old guys. Now when I say celebrity boxing has taken it too far, let me summarize. Conor McGregor started as a fighter and then he became a celebrity. He was respected in the UFC and respected in the boxing world, and he became the biggest athlete on the planet just from trash talking. Hey, Connor, Connor, do you know what wrestling is? I can, I can rest my balls on your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. And he was hilarious. There were people watching the UFC who didn't even like the sport. They just liked how hilarious he was. He ended up getting a boxing match, which isn't even his main sport, with Floyd Mayweather, and he made over $60 million. So Connor made it cool to trash talk, and before you know it, everyone wanted to be like him. 
regular people and fighters because everyone in the fight game was trash talking and people became boxers and ufc fighters just because they liked the trash talking element and this includes youtubers like ksi bryce hall and jake paul except when these guys trash talk it's cringy people want to see these guys beat up because they're unlikable but unfortunately they've created entire careers off this and now we got washed up celebrities boxing for 10 grand my question is do you think this trend is gonna die i don't know but let me know i'm out